Uh, I don't speak Chinese. Uh, do you speak English? English. English. Good. I'm looking for a present for my teenage son for Christmas. Ah. No, no, thank you. No, I'm looking for, uh, thank you. I'm, I'm looking for something special, something unique, unusual. Just got to be. Because how you? No, no, he has oh, yeah. a watch. He has a watch. Yeah. Something really unique. Uh, no. No, thank you. You know, you know what I was thinking? No, no, he has a football. No, what I want is something like a gadget. You know, he likes mechanical things. You know, a doohickey, like, like a gizmo. You know, a gizmo. 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 No, no. Oh, boy. Hey, mister, I got something unusual. Something different. Come here. All right, what you got, kid? How is this? Yeah. Is that thing real? Everything's real at grandfather's store. Come on. Wait a minute, is it very far? Not far. Just follow me. Ma'am? Ah, my own door. Ah, you are your bin. Ah, yeah. Ha! Go so long, you have That's a, a very, very nice dress that you're wearing today. I mean, you, you look very pretty today. Not that you don't look pretty every day. I'm just trying to say that you look especially pretty today. Pout, sir. Inside. Great. Seventeen minutes late, William. Seventeen minutes and thirty-three seconds. Well, I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Corbett. Punctuality is the politeness of kings. Do you know who uh, said that? Hmm? Um, Benjamin Franklin. Hush up, Gerald. Louis the Eighteenth. Now, if he could be on time. So can you. Oh, I know, it's just, you see, my dad is on a trip and... Just see that you never, never do it again. Yes, sir, I will. Is there anything else, sir? Yes. Although we do not have an automated teller as yet, I dare say that when we do, it will not wear a <coughs> clip-on tie. Yes, sir. Well, if that's all, I'll just be going back to work then. Good, good, good. That's good. Card for you and your family. Uh, see, well, I'm really kind of late now. Gregory 
uh, what is that one? Phil, what? That's not you. Greg, oh, goodness. Well, I thought I had it. Father, I'm really kind of late. Um, I'll, I'll mail it to you. I'll mail it to you. I'll see you on Sunday. You uh, can show me yes. a shirt, all right? You forgot your keys, son. Those are my keys. Billy. Kingston Falls, right? I've been there. No, look at the places in red. Yeah? Those are homes of people who are out of work. Most of them lost their jobs because Mrs. Deagle closed down the factory. They can't afford to make their house payments, so Mrs. Deagle's taking advantage of that. What do you mean? She's forcing the bank to foreclose on all of their mortgages. It's over half the town. No kidding. Look, your house is in red, so is mine. I heard them talking. Mrs. Deagle had a meeting with the High Tox Chemical Company. I think she's going to sell them the land. What are they going to do, build a, a plant or a factory or what? I don't know, but we've got to do something. Good morning. Hi, Gerald. Hi. Mr. Corbin doesn't like Snoopy employees. But maybe he doesn't have to know. Are you busy tonight? I'm busy every night. I like her. She's tough. Just like me. Just... <laughs> Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness Sheila, the noodle factory is not going to reopen. Ever? Mrs. Deagle closed it down for good. I guess that's the end of my career in noodles. There's more to life than macaroni. Extremely late for work. Captain Clippon, Kate. Gerald, are you all right? Did you see? They got Mr. Corbin. They almost got me, but I outsmarted them. I locked myself in here. Gerald, where are the keys to the vault? So I can get you out. Get out? Why would I want to get out? I know why you want me to come out. 
Mm. You think, well, now that Mr. Corbin's gone and I'm vice president, I'm going to make you junior vice president and you head teller. Bad chance. You think you can come waltzing in here at any time of the day or night without an appointment? You've got to make an appointment with me now. Do you understand that? You've never understood the meaning of business. I've got bank examiners in the morning. I've got... Wall He's better off in there. I'll come back from later.